What's up everybody? I woke up this morning and I had some strangers on the boat. Seemed like pretty cool people. Good morning guys, we're making a little breakfast. It's gonna be delicious. We want to show you guys how to make coffee on the boat. But first, we put all the oh, we ground it already. We put the beans into this little grinder thing, and then we grind it. Here you do it, Bert. All right. And then we put the grinds in this little mini French press thing, and then we heat up water. Pretty much the same way you make coffee at home if you have French press. Okay, that's done. Boil it, and then we just pour it over here. Now we're just having some breakfast up on the flybridge. Morning. Morning. <laughs> we're trying to catch some bait right now. Brent's doing a great job throwing the cast net. Sarah's doing a great job coaching him. Where are you guys from? Marshfield. I'm just kidding. They're not strangers. I do know them. We went to college together. What did we go to college for? We went to college for spear fishing and surfing. Brent got some bait. The first time throwing the cast net. <laughs> yeah, at least two throwing right here. Look at this, at least three. You got one up here too. You got one there and the one here. Look at these little guys. Little these are guy. perfect bait. This is what we caught redfish on the other day. When I say we, stuck. I mean Sierra caught them. <laughs> Here's another one. Nice, dude. We're fishing. Brent and Sarah successfully caught a ton of bait and we're going fishing now. So hopefully I learned enough from Sierra that we'll catch something. And we took your guys' advice and look what we got. We got a net. And we do use thicker leader, but I don't know. Those fish still cut it last time, but we're gonna catch some big fish today. Snook and redfish. And then if, uh, if it gets calm, we'll go offshore a little bit. That's it, just fishing, peaceful. We got the lighthouse up in the background. Somewhere right behind these trees. Little dredge boat going. Surf ski guys. We're gonna catch some fish. Can you tell us what we're doing? We're going on a boat to a dock and then we're gonna go paddleboard. Going we're gonna bring Brett and Sarah up to Stewart to do some paddling in like manatee pocket. It's gonna be great. Yeah, we'll see some manatee, some fish, I hopefully some dolphin. Manatee with dolphin. pockets. That yeah. looks awesome. Get your boat I'm just over kidding. There. <laughs> Are you the ones we're watching go in and out? Yeah. yeah. No, you look so cute on that. <laughs> you did. You brought it in so yeah. great. Cash on. <laughs> <laughs> have fun, Dad. All right, have you. a good one. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, so we got some paddle boards from Flying Fish. The best part about the shop is they're right on the water, so we just put them in the, off the dock right here. We're gonna head out Manatee Pocket. It's Manatee, it's a pocket. What's in a Manatee's pocket? So one of the coolest things about paddling here in Manatee Pocket are, first, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna see manatee somewhere, especially in the winter time when they come in here. Most of Manatee Pocket is pretty protected from the wind, so even if you get a little bit of a breezy day, you're not out in the ocean, you're not gonna get blown around too bad. Relatively safe for beginner paddle boarders. And then there's a lot of different areas in Manatee Pocket where you can explore. There's some mangrove creeks in the back. There's some, uh, you could go paddle through some communities with man-made canals. You go through some boat anchorages and see some really pretty boats. Just a lot of variation in here. And then if you go out towards the mouth of Manatee Pocket, there's a good chance you could see some dolphin. So I'm gonna do a video on paddle boarding all around Stewart, all the good spots, all the things that you should see and check out. I'll post a link to that video in the description as soon as it's done. So if you guys are watching this a few days or, or any time after I first post this video, it might be on there. So just check for a link in the description at the bottom of this video. All right, we're gonna get out there and paddle. Safety first. Uh -huh, that's fine. <laughs>
We just pulled up to this deserted island sandbar area. This cool little lagoon on the inside. Just outside of Manatee Pocket, right over here. And this is where, if you guys follow Boat Fam who were hanging out with for a few days, this is where they were anchored when they were up here in Stewart, which is a really cool spot. I didn't know you could anchor there with a the big boat, right in the little lagoon. But uh, we're gonna go check out this little island. And then maybe that little island. Maybe another little island. And then maybe find another little island. On this island, we found this cool little like tidal stream with these lagoons everywhere. A really neat spot. Look at this. Are you serious? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, oh no. Where'd he, he got away. He took the chip and ran. That's probably the funniest thing I've seen a squirrel ever do. Can I grab my fingers? Here's another one. Oh, he's so cute. Here's another one. That is his. Let's see who he comes to. Come on, I'm way better. That chip is bigger. Oh, oh. Come on. He's coming to me. Come He's coming to me. Come He's coming to you. He's coming to me. He's coming to you. Dang it. Are you serious? He's so cute. That is hysterical. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Brent's driving, we're going to have a little dinner on the water, by the inlet. Square, where are we going? Square Grouper or Utiki? You tell me. I don't know. Uh, it's just speechless. We'll, we'll look from the water and see what you guys yeah. decide. 